All right, thanks for joining me for another game here. So what do we got? Forcer's turn and Pileated look good. Carolina looks good. Eggs in the forest for round one. That lines up with our Pileated and our Chickadee. Forcer's turn is our good wetland card drawing bird. Bonus cards, Nest Box Builder. The synergy just keeps happening. Hooded Warbler. It's a little greedy out of the starting hand. So we need... It's in the bird feeder. No fish. So let's keep the fish. Is there a cherry? No cherry either. That's kind of a bad situation to be in here. So I want both of these. I want the Forcer's turn. It is a cavity nest. I want all three of these birds. So I think card drawing isn't as important right off the bat since we have our chickadee and our pileated. We'll get those down. We'll gain food and eggs. We'll try to capitalize on our woodpecker before our opponent can get a cavity nest on the board. And then we'll worry about playing the Forster's turn and getting extra cards. So with that, we'll start. Alright, so we're going to play our Chickadee. We'll lead with that. Baltimore Oriole looks good. It's kind of greedy. At the start of the game here. So our opponent is building on a grasslands engine here. So they got a wheat and a worm. They laid their eggs. Going to gain food here. Going to get a worm. Try to get the bird feeder to uh, have all the same symbols as close as possible here. So. We can get the reroll and hopefully grab a fish. Actually, we can go with a worm for our forester stern. So we really want a cherry for our pileated. So there's the bush tit from our opponent in the wetlands. That's their card draw option. No forest birds yet from them. So we're looking like we might be in a good position uh, for winning that round goal, but. By paying attention, I kept the cherry from my opening hand here. So I'm actually going to lay eggs. Now we're in position to drop the pileated woodpecker. So our opponent is going to be able to get the extra eggs on their bush tit from our pileated woodpecker, but that will conflict then with their ability to score points off the power. So we're kind of putting them in a position to overlay their eggs. Draw cards from my opponent. We'll throw down our Pileated. <laughs> then we'll gain food and get a worm for the Forcer's turn. So now my opponent is going to be looking at really getting more cavity nests down, I think, to try to maximize their ability to capitalize on the Pileated Woodpecker and to protect the nest of their bush tit. So they can maximize that use. So they drew cards. Looks like they discarded the egg and relayed an egg. So they're digging off the top of the deck. That shows that they're in a bit of a weaker position. They're not holding any food. So we probably don't have to worry about power four at all. Four turns left in the round. Let's take... Let's actually take two worms. Lay eggs, get the cached food. So they drew cards again. So they're really digging. They're probably digging for a good forest bird, but they have the tohi for their food generation in the grassland, so it's 
kind of a you might be in a difficult position there let's continue to fill up on eggs let's take the wheat for diversity we'll re-roll the bird feeder let's take the worm to kind of stranglehold the bird feeder here So that puts my opponent in a bind, unless they need fish or rats. And they just are able to draw the single food, because they have no birds in their forest. So they did take a fish. Singular food. Filling up quickly on their bush tit. So that's probably going to be a second wetland bird here. We're in position to win this round goal. We have two turns left. Probably going to grab... I'm going to play the Forcer's turn, and then I'm going to grab that Oriole. And I think I'm going to chuck the extra egg. Because we've just got so many in our forest that my opponent can't catch up to us at this point. There's Willet. Not too concerned about that. Let's draw the Oriole. Let's hold off on that, actually. Get rid of the egg on the chickadee. And let's draw a card off the deck. So that might be good. If my opponent goes into the grasslands. really need the says Phoebe. So we're going to win this round goal easily. What do we got in the tray? White Stork. Well, I can't let my opponent have that. Northern Bob White. Platform Nest. Birds with no eggs for round three. So let's discard another egg. Give us another efficient activation of our pileated woodpecker. Flamingo. I don't think that's going to be good for us. Prairie chicken's a good bomb. Franklin's gull. Alright, well. I think I know what we're doing now. Surprise top deck Franklin's gull. So now I'm going to get a fish out of the bird feeder. I'm going, to pull, I'm going to get two fish, actually. And I'll have the food for Franklin's Gull, Franklin's Gull and White Stork. And they play Carol, Cal, bleh, California, not Carolina, California Condor in their wetlands to build out their wetlands engine. Uh, we're really looking to be in a very strong position here with this White Stork and Franklin's Gull. That we want to gain food here, and we will. We'll gain the two fish. We'll lay the eggs. And let's put an egg on our Forster's turn. Since it's a star nest. And we'll cache one on the chickadee. So the game... So we're, I'm going to switch to board view here so we can all get a bird's eye view, pun intended, of the current game state. So I've got a strong position here with my Pileated and Carolina Chickadee laying eggs on two birds and caching food. Got a decent card drawing bird here in the wetlands. My opponent has a what appears to be a weaker wetlands engine for drawing cards. Uh, they've established the towhee in their grasslands for food and eggs, but really this, all these card draw actions my opponent's taken, that's showing me that they might be desperately digging for better cards than what they currently have. And then, especially with our Franklin's Gull and White Stork in hand, we are in a greatly superior position here. So I'm actually going to play the White Stork first. So I'm thinking the big thing with the White Stork is that if there's a card in the tray that you want to draw, 
you can't get it with the stork because it'll wipe the tray clean. So we want the Franklin Skull in front of the stork so we can draw cards out of the tray first if we want to. Then we can wipe the tray. So we'll do that. Good old white stork. I don't think I've ever had white stork, Franklin Skull, or Kildeer here. They drew more cards. I wonder if they got a Benelli's Eagle here or an Eastern Imperial Eagle that we'll see here soon. They don't have any food, so they're really struggling to play birds. And the round two goal is food cost of played birds, so probably going to win this one as well. Oh, what am I doing here? I almost made a big mistake. Like, why is my forcers turned in my grasslands? But <laughs> that would have been a big blunder. Glad I caught that. That's kind of a consequence of playing in this habitat mode. I'm so used to playing in the board mode. Thankfully, I looked there and like, <laughs> why is my forester's turn in the grasslands? Answer, it's not. Do I want to draw cards here? If I play Baltimore Oriole or Greater Prairie Chicken, it just helps me. They're good bombs. And... They really help secure the wrong goal for us. So I think I'm just going to draw food here to play the cards that I have in hand. No cherries. Let's take a wheat. Actually, let's take the worm, and then we'll take the wheat. We will lay eggs on our cavity nests. So I need another wheat for the prairie chicken. It's in the bird feeder. I think I will gain food again, and then I will play the prairie chicken. That's the advantage of switching to this board view. You can just get a very quick assessment of what's going on with you and your opponent. So they've played the chiff chaff into their forest, and the power of this bird is choose one to five birds in the habitat, tuck one card from your hand behind each. So this is only going to get them one card, but they have so many cards in their hand right now from all these card draw actions, and it really looks like this is their last-ditch effort for a forest bird here. And what's its nest type? Ground nest. So I could re-roll the bird feeder here and give them the pick of what comes up, but I think I'm just going to focus on... So no cherry. I'm going to take another worm to eliminate the worms from the bird feeder. So we'll hand out another egg. Cache another food on our chickadee. So they're going to be, they're going to chuck a card for a food, gain a food, and they're going to tuck a card behind their chiff chat. So all those extra cards they drew, they're going to convert those into food and points here. And that's a pretty solid play given the position that they're in right now. They have an overabundance of cards and a severe lack of food. So they actually drew cards here. So we're in position to really win the round goal. They don't have any food. I really wonder what they're digging for here. They must really have, like, a bunch of bad cards or something. So let's play our prairie chicken. Take an egg off our cavity nest. Viticulturalist or forester. So we have three forest birds. Once we play the oriole. Viticulturalist... We'll have two birds. Let's actually see if we can't max out Forester here. Because we'll get four points once we get the Baltimore Oriole down. And then we can draw a bunch of cards off our grasslands and see if we can't get our fourth and fifth forest birds. So we pull way ahead on the food cost of our birds. Unless we see a cherry come up in the bird feeder, I might just go for that. Because we definitely want to play the Oriole. So they took the rats. So 
So the round three goal is birds with no eggs. So that actually plays against our grasslands engine and our pileated woodpecker in the forest. So we may just choose to ignore this round goal because our engine is just so good. So I didn't pay attention to what they drew out of the tray. But we see a Moltoni's Warbler here. Eurasian Collared Dove. I could spam a bunch of food, but I don't think we have a strong enough forest engine to really support that at this point in the game. Moltoni's, I don't think we're going to make good use of that. Horned Lark, not really what we're looking for. Baltimore Oriole will also be our fifth cavity nest bird, so we got to keep an eye out for more cavity nests. I'm actually going to, I think, re-roll the bird feeder here. Let's switch to board view and get a quick assessment of what our opponent has going on. They've got two rats and not much of an engine to speak of in any of their habitats. So I think I'm just going to go for the cherries here. And one more time, switching to board view. They have one egg left. One space open on their bush tit. I don't think I care about giving them another egg off the pileated, so let's hope for some cherries. We got one. Let's take a worm. We'll lay eggs like so. Cache of food on the chickadee once again. So I think, I think I'm actually going to draw cards here, lay eggs and draw cards off my gull and white stork, just to open up our options for the future. So there's a peregrine and that explains the two rats. They're building out their grasslands, so they're actually birds with no eggs. Switching to board view again. They're going to run their grasslands. They're going to fill up on eggs, and we may be able to actually compete for this round goal. Switch back to the habitat view here. So, let's see. Keep the eggs on the prairie chicken. Don't skip. Let's chuck an egg there. Draw off the deck. There's a forest bird. Cup nest. Let's see what comes up in the tray. We'll take the scissor tail flycatcher because it's a big bomb. And we actually have the food to play it. So that worked out really well. And then we'll burn the eggs off the prairie chicken. So that'll give us another bird with no eggs. their eggs. A little late for Black Throated Diver. Play the scissor tail. So we are now tying. I'll switch the board view to look at my opponent's egg situation. So if they lay three eggs, one, two, three. So they played the Eurasian Nutcracker to burn an egg off their bush tit, so they're trying to keep that open to benefit from my pileated woodpecker. So it looks like my opponent is going to try to build out their forest engine here to try to capitalize on the chiff chaff and convert all those cards they drew in the beginning of the game in the first half into points in their forest engine. So let's lay eggs. We got three turns left. I'm gonna switch to board view again quickly to look at our egg situation. So we need birds with no eggs. So I think we're just going to ignore that round goal because it's just really playing counter to what we're trying to accomplish here. So the little owl is a cavity nest, but it's not a great bird to begin with. I could 
play it and burn off two eggs. But I think I need to get the food for the Baltimore Oriole. I need two cherries, or I just need a bunch of food to overpay. So I think I'm just going to lay a bunch of eggs here. Make sure we cover our platform nest for round four. Actually, let's just keep as many birds open as we can and just see if we can't pressure this round goal. Put them here on the platform nest. I'm not going to hand out the food because my opponent is struggling for food and they have a ton of cards in hand. Let's see, do I have a single egg to discard? I don't. Let's discard off here. Draw, draw. Let's see what comes up. We could play the red winged blackbird into the grasslands and convert extra cards into points. I think we will do that. They could go for this extra wheat here and cash it, or cash it rather, between the nutcracker and the chiff chaff. That will help us turn over the bird feeder. So that looks like looks like that's what they did. Yep. I don't think I mind that. I think we're way ahead on our game. So I want two cherries pretty badly. Hold on to this blue jay, because that might be our fifth forester bird. So let's flip that. We got our cherries. Switch to board view. Our opponent has their open bush tit. I think I'm going to skip the pileated because our grasslands is so strong here. We're fill up, filling up on eggs really, really quickly. Two eggs, but... So they laid eggs. Look at their egg situation here. So they threw one on their bush tit, it looks like. So let's take a wheat and the worm for our Oriole. We'll skip this. Cash. Cash. So used to saying cash. So we lost that round goal as planned. What's in the tray? Godwit is pretty dang good. So let's lay eggs. I am going to take the worm. Chuck an egg there. Let's gain the Godwit. Great Crested Flycatcher would be our sixth cavity nest bird after the Oriole, and it will be our fifth Forester bird. So I'm going to take that. And let's see if we can't pull a bomb like we just did. I was going to say Benelli's, but Trumpet or Swan will do. So I'm gonna, well they played Whoopie Grand. I'm gonna switch to board view here to get a big picture look at what's going on with my opponent. So they dropped a bomb. They're probably just going to either lay three, four eggs here, or uh, score four points, but lay three eggs and hopefully get a tuck off their falcon, or they could tuck cards and hopefully draw and cash, cash wheat with the nutcracker. So I think we're in the superior position here still. So let's go with Baltimore Oriole. And we'll get rid of an egg on Pileated. 
All right, so <clears throat> our flycatcher is five plus four here. Well, actually, I'm a bird behind, not forester, aren't I? I am. So it would be our sixth bird for cavity nests. So that's five. Plus three is eight, minus two is a six point play. And we need two worms and a wheat for our godwit at the end. That would be really great to play that godwit. So I'm just gonna switch to board view to look at our egg situation. We only got five spots left. I could pick up the cherry. Flip that bird feeder. See if I can't get the food I need for the godwit. Or the swan. I could chuck a card for an extra food. It'll give me two turns to play two bombs right here at the end. So let's get rid of... Don't need that anymore. Let's flip the bird feeder. Need a wheat, so that's our second wheat for the swan. Take a worm. We'll take a cherry. But do I want the cherry from the Oriole? My opponent is hard up for food, so I don't necessarily want to give them more food to drop bombs here at the end. They've got three activations left. So I could play the swan. I would have two cherries and a worm. I'm going to play the flycatcher. Go down to a worm. So we're going to skip the cherry. And looking at my opponent's cavity nest situation, they're leaving the bush tit open. I would gain two points to their one. So I will take it. Get the egg on the Oriole for the round goal as well. We'll cache a food. So I'm gonna switch to board view again. We don't have a huge amount of birds. So drawing the bonus card could whiff on the Godwit. We need to get the flycatcher down, sitting at, there's the Benelli's. Switch to board view, so there's the Benelli's from our opponent. They're going to lay eggs and get one, two birds with platform nests that have eggs. Nest box builder, that's why we wanted to play the flycatcher. That'll be our sixth bird there. So let's play that. Chuck that egg. And we'll chuck this egg. So that was a five plus three is eight minus two is a six point play. And then we'll drop this trumpeter swan for eight points. They laid eggs as expected. So it looks like they just filled up their three column one birds. So let's drop our trumpeter swan. Eight points. So let's see, we have that maxed out. If we play blue jay, that's three. Plus four is seven points minus the two from eggs. So that's five. So it's better to play our trumpeter swan here at the end. All right, so that's our board. We have a monster of a Carolina chickadee. Well, honestly, we didn't lean that hard on White Stork and Franklin Skull. We kind of just had the cards that we needed to make this game happen. Our opponent 
is playing the nut hatch for another bonus card at the end. So we handily win this round goal. And the moment of truth. Let's see what happens. If you like this game, if you like the Franklin's Goal and the White Stork action, please like the video and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. So we're ahead on bird points. We fell behind a little bit on bonus cards. But we're doing well on round goals. Eggs about even. Chickadee comes through for us there. Ooh, good score from my opponent though. 110 to 97. I was a little bit scared when those tucking points were racking up for my opponent here. So good game to my opponent and thanks for watching everyone.